Today, I'm building the characters from Poppy Playtime 3, including all of the smiling critters. I'm gonna start with my favorite, Catnap. I like him because he's purple. For the moon on his chest, I'm gonna use this yellow piece. It's not perfect, but it does have that curve, and hey, I'm working with what I got. Well, what do you think? Is that a good catnap or what? I think that worked out really well. Now let's build the other smiling critters. Next is Bobby Bearhug. He's a red bear, so I'll need all these red pieces. Bobby Bearhug has a heart on his chest, and I have a heart piece right here. Hmm, it's exactly right. On it goes. There, complete Bobby Bearhug. And his head even spins, so he can always be watching you. I'm not sure if I want him to. Uh. Next, I'll build Bubba Bubbafant, the bubblegum colored elephant. Or wait, that's not bubblegum, that's blue. Anyway, let's do this. Perfect, there's the completed elephant. I love his trunk. Is this guy your favorite smiling creature? I sure like him a lot. Next, we're gonna build the dog. Dog Day is brown, yellow, and orange. I've got the exact colors to build him right here. Say hi to Dog Day. Hi, everybody. But I still have to give him his center chest piece, so I'll do that now. He gets a gear on his chest, so I'm gonna use this black flower piece. It looks pretty good. There, a completed Dog Day. Now we've built four of the eight smiling critters. Comment down below which one you're most excited to see. Next is Crafty Corn the Unicorn. Now that I've got the body, he just needs his silver unicorn. I could use this piece. It's a cone and it's kind of good. It would probably work, but this piece is perfect. It's a silver curl unicorn, just like he really has in the game. <laughs> Like magic. It's so beautiful. I think this might be the best one yet. The horn's just so perfect. Now for Hoppy Hopscotch, the green rabbit. Boing, boing. She's gonna get you. Next is Picky Piggy, the pink pig. I didn't have pieces of all the same color, so I had to use a few different shades here. There's one, two, three, four different shades of pink on her. Well, I still think it worked out pretty well though. What do you think? Now for kicking chicken, the tough yellow chicken. I've already forgotten how to build this. Um, I think this piece goes on next. Yeah, I'm getting there now, I'm remembering. I think I captured his three things pretty well. Hang on, what are those things called anyway? Anyway, for his chest piece, he has a five pointed star. So I got one right here. See, it's got five points, so it's perfect. On it goes. Oh no, his head! Kicking chicken, no! Oh wait, I can just put him back. And that's the final smiling critter. Now let's look at them all together. These are pretty cool, but imagine how scary they'd be at night, just creeping up on you. Hey, let's check that out. Since we're building the characters from Poppy Playtime, I was able to get some off-brand pieces for a hooky woogie. Let's build this. Since it's not real Lego, you have to put the arms in. That's kind of weird. Well, at least they got his yellow hands right. And here's his head. And it even came with a stand. You know, that doesn't look bad. Do you think Lego should make this into a real set? I was able to get my grubby little hands on a few others too. Like Kissy Missy, the pink version of Hoogie Woogie. This pink is a pretty nice color, but I'm not sure if it's exactly the right color. Well, what do you think? Yay or nay? Here's them together. Hmm, not bad. This could definitely pass for a real Lego set. Well, I also got the other color versions of Hoogie Woogie, like green Hoogie Woogie. 
This guy looks so friendly. I can't imagine being scared of this version, but maybe the red one. Nah, he's not scary either. Well, what about uh, black? I don't think there was a black Huggy Wuggy. Well, let's build this anyway. Huh? The more I look at this, the less I recognize it. I don't think this is a real Poppy Playtime character. Guys, I have no idea who this is supposed to be. I don't think it's from Poppy Playtime. Comment below if you recognize him. Which color is the best Huggy Wuggy? Personally, I have to go for the original, Huggy himself. But red's pretty funny too. But that's not all. I was also able to get a Lego Poppy. Lego Poppy is really short, just like she should be. That makes a lot of sense. Now I'm gonna build Catnap again, but this time I'm gonna build him from that one really scary scene. So it's different from this model. Here's the pieces I'm gonna use. I'm also gonna take a picture of it looking like that scene. So I'm gonna have to set up the lighting. I'm gonna use these hollow studs for his eyes. They give it that creepy pupil effect. Now those eyes are pretty good. The whole thing doesn't look that good, but once I set up the shot, it's gonna look amazing. So let's do that now. Now this is what it looks like in the dark, but I'm gonna light it from the back with a red light. See, I've got one here. Now I just add foam. It looks just like the real scene. Who knew you could use Lego this way? What about the gas mask from Poppy Playtime 3? I've got the pieces here, I'm gonna build that. And for the yellow pieces on the side, I'm gonna use minifigure heads. They're small and round and yellow, and they're blank on the back. So that's just what I'm looking for. Let's put those on. You know, even if there was no toxic gas, I think I'd wear this just as a fashion statement. I wonder if I can get the smiling critters to wear this gas mask. He's prepared for anything. What about Poppy? Okay, that's just way too big. But I think I can build one even smaller. I just need these pieces. It's so simple. It only needs two bricks and a bunch of studs. There's the bottom half. And here's the top half. And together, isn't that the cutest little gas mask you've ever seen? Which gas mask do you think is cooler? I like the little one because it uses so few pieces. 